in Morocco. Fifty-five years of friendship in Morocco. Hi, my name is Kevin Vogel. I'm a returned Peace Corps volunteer from Morocco. I served here uh, in 2003 to 2005 in the city of Fni in the south of the country. And 10 years later, I returned uh, as a foreign service officer um, to work in the U.S. Embassy in Rabat. I'm very excited because I'm going to be heading down to city of Fni to see my host family. It's been about 10 years since I've seen them and we've only had minimal contact. I'm nervous but looking forward to it, to see how they've grown as a family, to share some meals with them and to tell them about my life and how I've changed. I have a feeling that it's going to be a great experience and um, will help bring my Peace Corps experience full circle. <laughs> My host mother Aisha, she was always kind of the matriarch of the family and my fondest memories were, were sitting down at meals with her and she would make a, a camel couscous on Fridays and she'd always, you know, toss a big piece of meat my way, uh, you know, and telling me kul 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 or if it was Eid, Eid Kabir and uh, we were eating the, the goat, the, the sheep head. They couldn't, uh, nobody could crack open the head. You know, she gave me the ax to, to, to crack open the head to get the brain out. And then the next day when we ate the head meat, you know, she, th she, she tossed over the eyeball to me to, to, to eat because I'd helped her crack the head open. And uh, <laughs> I gave it back to her because she was the matriarch of the family and, and the one most deserving of that nice little tidbit. Um, to be able to go back and see her with her children and and their children and having seen that family grow was was very heartwarming. She was in charge of the family. Her husband had died a long, long time ago. She was the one who provided the support for her family and she treated me as one of her own. My only regret is that I wish I could have gone there with my with my family and my children to to kind of have them meet, but uh, maybe next time. When I first moved in with my host family, um, there were two brothers that were about my age. Said, he was my barber and, and practically the only barber I've had since Peace Corps, because after that I just started cutting my own hair. So being able to go back and, and have him do my hair again was, was fantastic because I always found that he, was, he, he just did it the best. And he had switched stores since I was there as a, as a Peace Corps volunteer and it was nice to see that he had grown a little bit bigger, more material. Uh, he was also recently married and they had built a little suite on top of his mother's apartment that, that he had. So he, he was very proud of what he was able to do and I was proud for him because he, he was always a hard worker and a, a good friend. The older brother, Hamid, I had never met. When I was there as a Peace Corps volunteer, he was stuck in the Canary Islands working and couldn't return because he didn't have papers. So showing up to the host family, he was there. Uh, after all these years, I, just, I didn't know he was going to be there. And it was, it was amazing to, to get to meet him, the oldest brother of the family. Going back, I was really nervous at uh, being able to communicate with uh, my host family. Back in my Peace Corps days, I was pretty, pretty fluid, pretty fluent with my Darija, and I didn't know how I would handle it. But going back, it kind of just it came back. Um, and I didn't spend a lot of time not understanding what we were talking about, so uh, that, that was a pretty good feeling. 
So another thing that I was nervous about was I, I wasn't sure how they would accept me or you know show up as a somebody working at the embassy. You know, I showed up and they didn't they didn't they didn't care about what I was doing. They they just were so happy to see me. The the proof of the friendship or the relationship that we had developed over 15 years ago was you know was was, was there. And I could go back in 15 years and it would be the same thing. Um, they're very humble. Uh, very open-minded and accepting, and and they were just ha happy, happy to see me and to be with me, and that was a great feeling.